Europa, welcome to Baka. If you're new here, I'm Irsa, and today I'm here in Florida, and it's a very humid and hot morning. But I got the opportunity to borrow my photographer mentor's absolute favorite lens at the moment. It's the Sony 300 millimeter G Master f2.8. I've also slapped a teleconverter on there to get even closer to my subjects. But as you can tell in here, the animals are getting pretty active already. So let's get clicking, guys. While you're watching this video, there will be a mix of footage with both the Sony 70 to 200 millimeter, but also this Sony 300 millimeter lens. Although during the summer we're missing our beloved migrant birds, the locals are still here, such as great blue herons, ospreys, common gallinules, gators, or like I call them, swamp puppies. And when I got here this morning, I even saw a black crowned night heron eating fish for breakfast, but unfortunately, it was still too dark to get a good photo of it. So, one thing that's really cool about this lens, it only weighs 1,470 grams. It looks way heavier than it is, and once you pick it up, you can kind of feel like it's surprisingly light, right? And correct me if I'm wrong, I do believe that this is actually the lightest lens with this, these kind of specs on the market right now. That's only 300 millimeter. Um, so that is really cool because when you have heavy gear, you do get tired quickly, so this is definitely a plus. Looks like this great blue heron might spot something. No, I guess not. He changed his mind. <laughs> Photographing wildlife is definitely a patience game, but I absolutely love it. You can't rush things in nature. You really only have control of your gear and your mindset. And I think that's why this is extra exciting for me, since you never know what you're gonna capture that day. And you know, even if you come to the same spot often, you'll never capture the same picture twice. And it allows you to actually slow down. You know, like for myself, I'm still learning so much about wildlife photography and photography overall, but forcing myself to slow down like this, I, I think we all should do that more often. It is crazy how lightweight this lens is, and it's not much heavier than my 70 to 200. I think it's like a 400 grams or so ish difference between the two. And the footage looks so beautiful and so sharp thanks to the awesome autofocus. Considering all of this, it feels like a lens I take with me more often, and I really hope to get it for myself in the future. But hopefully I can borrow this again when I go to the mountains next week. So fingers crossed I'll have a part two about this lens because I really need to use this again.
Oh my god. Look at that gator over there. Oh my god, so I'm, I come here to this spot quite a bit, but this is the first time I actually got this on camera and it happened and it's... I'm not gonna lie, it was a little scary, but it was so cool, like... I just love gators. I just love gators. What you just saw was an alligator bellow, which is their way to communicate for mating, territorial and social purposes. This means that you'll hear this more often during mating season, which occurs in May or June. And it takes you by surprise because it gets loud, but it's very beautiful to watch. guys that is it for today i hope you enjoyed today's video if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any of my future videos but let me know in the comments or send me a dm about maybe you've tried this lens maybe you have another one of another brand i'm very curious and i want to know what you're working with so up until the next time have an absolutely amazing day Hello.